Mr. Oppenheimer, mm -hmm. I I'm starting this. Uh, I'm going to do this interview with you because I'm mm -hmm. I'm absolutely intrigued mm -hmm. by the RPSB. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a little confused. Mm -hmm. Could you put it into context for me and for the viewers? Well, the nature of this invention. The RPSB, mm. uh, I'm intrigued by it. Um, I'm sure, yeah. sure a it's lot of viewers, I read about it in the newspaper. One of my um, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're intrigued about it? I'm absolutely intrigued. Yeah, you should be. Um, could, you, you, could you put it into context? It's only good. What now? Okay. Yes, please. You yes. want it in context? I, yeah. I would, yeah, oh, you, I you just, like you. I'm like. interested to know, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Well, I'm the ideal person to put it in context for you because I, I invented that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm asking you for So I'm going to put it in context for you. Yes, please. No, well, I should do because yes. you are asking, it's only plot. Yes. The idea of the RSPB is the same as pretty much any invention uh, in terms of it's meant to bring us closer together. For example, when Edison invented uh, electricity, I'm fairly sure it was Edison, when Edison invented electricity, uh, the idea was to bring people closer together, yeah. you know, with, uh, with power and so on. When uh, the internet, which was a British inventor in 1997, that, the idea was to bring communication closer together, and the idea with the written word in general, I mean, the idea was to, was to bring people closer together. And, and my invention is, is not Maybe I sound not particularly humble, but it's pretty much the same thing on the same level. Yes. As, as I previously mentioned. Um, yes, yes. Devices. Yeah. Right. And it's on the same but level as those devices. Okay, but what is it exactly? The actual name is the Rocket Propelled Skateboard. The, the what? Rocket Propelled Skateboard. The rocket Propelled. Okay. Uh, um, isn't. So, so it's. Let me get this straight. It's, it's a skateboard that's propelled by a rocket. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, 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 you're twisting my words, and I don't like that. I find that very rude. No, what, what well, it is? That's what you said. Well, we'll see. Let me, let me. Can I clarify? Let me oh, clarify. Yeah, sure. Well, I'll clarify. Yeah, if, yeah, sure. if you let me clarify. Yeah, yeah. Fine. What it is is it's a skateboard propelled by the power of a rocket. Okay. And that's not. No, that's not the same as 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 as, as what you're saying. It's it, it's pushed forward by the power of of, of a rocket. And that, in itself, is is the propulsion system. And I think that's um, that's important to clarify if, if people are going to be uh, uh, listening to this. I think they deserve the actual truth um, instead of this media spin uh, rubbish, which journalists like you tend to tend to spew at, at, at well, a great man. Such I mean, you, you must agree it's kind of an unusual idea, it, it, isn't it? Well, isn't it incredibly? Well, all, in, all ideas are good. Well, it, oh, that's the whole point of an invention is is unusual. You don't invent something that's already been invented. I mean, what would be the point? That's absolutely it, it has true. Has to be unusual. I agree with that. Well, but, you, you but, say you, you agree, know, but well, you know you're arguing with me. So, isn't it incredibly dangerous? Well, I, I don't think. Can you explain to me why? Did, when they were inventing uh, the atom bomb, did they talk about the danger element? No, they just talked about the positivity. When they invented um, the machine gun, did they talk about dangers? It's hard, hard All they know, no, no. Well, I think it's very similar thing actually. I don't think we need to concentrate on the negativity. Okay, yeah. If, if you want the exact for your all these notes you're taking, if you want the exact statistics, then yeah. Oh, no, I just wanted you, to know what the R RPSB well, was. Well, okay. Technically, yes. You you probably will die when when you're using the RSPB, but that's yep. that's not the intention of the device. Well, the device is 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 to propel a skateboard with a rocket. If you if you happen to die in the process. That's you know okay. That's not nice, but that's not what the, the, the you know that's not what the device is for. I'm just saying you could die in a car crash. Absolutely preposterous. I mean, I mean, why would you need a rocket on a skateboard? Well, it's not it's not preposterous. Why would you need it? Why would you not need it? I mean, if you're going on a skateboard normally, what what speed? Do you know what the average speed of a skateboard is? Four miles an hour. Do you know what it is with a rocket? Three hundred and fifty miles an hour. Okay, admittedly, yeah. Okay, one of the, what you will probably start going on about now is the fact that you run out of fuel in 0.5 seconds. And during well, that wasn't my point at all. Well, I'm sure you're going to start mentioning that in the second. Is I can it actually, your is it notes a, and actually things. necessary to go that fast on a skateboard? Well, is it necessary to actually travel, you know, to, to, to all over the country in general? Is it necessary? Can't you just stay in your own community? <laughs> Who's going to benefit by it? Well, people with skateboards, all they need to do is get the rocket and they've got the rocket. People with um, rockets, all they need is a skateboard. People with skateboards, all they need is a rocket. And that's two demographics right there that you're completely overlooking. And I personally think uh, they're not going to be uh, tuning into your show very much, my friend. Are people with skateboards actually in need of improvement? Are they not happy anyway? Sorry, sorry. Um, I mean, why is this no, sorry, sorry, a problem? Oh, oh, that's just, that just answer that question. That's brilliant. Are people with skateboards in need of an improvement when they can only do four miles an hour? And I'm saying they can do 350. 
Yes, yeah, but they don't need um, for what they. Um, see, if you want to go faster, yeah. you do a different mode of, mode of transport, don't you? You don't need a skateboard. Well, then everybody's a millionaire. Not everyone on a BBC salary like well, you. A push bike would go quicker, wouldn't it? Well, not quicker than a rocket-powered skateboard, my friend. Yeah, but it's, nah, the, got him now on the roads. The danger element. But the danger. Yes, yeah, so you okay? Well, we're dwelling on that. Okay, fine. There is an eighty-five percent chance. Well, no, 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 no. so a ninety-six percent chance of of death. No one's, no one's, I'm not denying that. You don't think I'm it's a high percentage? Well, it, it certainly is a high percentage. But I'm just saying, you know, you, you does it pros not, and cons, it, swings and roundabouts. Okay, okay. Does it not bother you that an invention that you've come up with is going to take people's lives? It's not going to take people's 96%, lives. 96% I'd say it's a high probability. Oh, God. If you don't use, if you only use it once... What's the likelihood in a car? You go in a car that's a million times a year. Well, that's, that, that's, have you got one? Have, have you got one? No, I have you got I one? I haven't. I don't no, even they, know if I'd want they, one either. Well, you, you haven't got one. I mean, uh, Tell me. Judge, once you've actually... Well, actually, I would let you talk to the test pilot, but he died. But that's, that's not necessarily... Uh, well, not necessarily... He wasn't... Okay, you can't... Well, you just told me he's died. You know, well, I, I told you he, he died, but... The reality is, he died because he he wasn't paying attention. You've got to admit, have you thought, have you thought the safety aspect through? I mean, health and safety is a is a bit. Has it been patented? Patented? Have you have, have you had this? Have you had it granted? Have yes, it, I will go safe? to the office and say, excuse me, can I patent a rocket, please? Oh, also, I want no, a rocket on a skateboard. You don't need to pattern. This is too. It's like if you put well, it, it could be easily you, copied. Then if you it? put an oxo cube on a spoon, do you need to pattern it? No, what? you don't. It's bloody ridiculous. If you're trying to sell them, in, I presume you want to sell it? Well, I could sell them separately and then just people put them together themselves. I mean, you don't need an engineering degree to do this. put them together yourselves, how are you, are you not going to make any money out of it? Well, I don't understand what the whole, the whole idea is behind it, to be honest. Look, it's perfectly simple. Okay, we haven't got any kind of steering device installed yet, so unfortunately there's a higher likelihood of, of, of sort of skew-whiffing off through it. But the reality is... Well, I think we're going to have to agree to disagree on this. Okay, what I want to know is, well, one of the things is... Oh, here we go. For a start... Listen, listen to this. This is well, going to be fun. Well, well, I think it's a valid question. Oh, no, here how, we go. All ears. All ears. Go on. How can you steer this thing? Um, sorry, have you not heard of a skateboard? Well, yes, I have, yes. but not one that goes 300 miles yeah, an hour. Well, there are, you know, they're, okay, fine. They're and right. on top of that, wh how, where can you go when there's a 70 mile an hour speed limit, 300 miles an hour? It's not a problem. You're only going to be doing this for, for about three seconds. It's still illegal. Well, it certainly is illegal, but the reality is you're only doing it for three seconds. So I mean, you admit it's illegal? Well, you have to do it for more than three seconds for it to be illegal, I'm fairly sure. You have to do it for, you know, for, uh, for a certain amount of time. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I'm fairly sure it's because it, any, it doesn't say, there's no time limit on speed. You, you can can't go over 70 miles an hour. The reality is the steering okay is impossible no I haven't have you that. thought this through yes I have the reality is okay the steering, steering. the steering is terrible let's explain about Wait. the steering the steering is terrible but because you're only driving for 0.5 seconds you don't need to steer do you when are you going to steer in 0. how much steering do you do in 0.5 seconds you got, you're just about why is it only going for 0.5 seconds it's got a rocket on it I mean how much fuel do you know how heavy a rocket with fuel is it's the equivalent of putting a small family car on a skateboard okay how, I mean, aside from the the safety aspect, I mean, have you thought about price? The average family, yes, can yes, they I afford have. that? Yes, I have, thank you. I mean, it's about, it's about £20,000 per litre, isn't it? Was it unleaded? It's irrelevant. Well, well I mean, uh, yeah, okay. It is, uh, who, who, did, sorry, who could afford uh, it? Sorry, I'm confused. Did I say, it's only for the rich and famous. Did I say it was cheap? Did I say it was cheap? No, I didn't. It didn't. I did not say it was cheap. But the reality is... So you made it for rich people? Okay, for the well off. This is when we made these statistics. We took into account the ninety-six percent mortality rate. So you will probably die. You will never need to refill this. Stem of confidence. So there's twenty thousand pounds for all your travel for the rest of your life. Technically, you're making a saving, but you will be dead. I don't go anywhere. But it will. It will go somewhere. It's just you know, you're not going to go That's very often. Oppenheimer. Yes. Your new invention. Actually, it says Oppenheimer. But this is... your, your, oh, sorry, Doctor oh, Oppenheimer. Okay, well, you, you, your your new invention. Yes. Well, Tell us a bit about it. I will, if you let me speak. Sorry. Can I speak? Thank you. Um, this is... I'm, I'm now considering you, you've sprung this interview on me without without asking, come out. Yes, I'm sorry about uh, that. Well, you're not. Let's be honest, because you've got notes, so you've really planned... Well, but I'm interested. Well, you're I'm interested. a journalist. Well, you say you're interested, but yeah. the reality is... Yeah, cool. You sprung this on me, so I would like to now take hijack your show a little bit and, and make a little announcement uh, to anyone who's, who's listening, sort of the scientific community and so on about my little uh, proposal uh, to the uh, the finance minister 
of the country, which I've been making. Uh, and it's basically that in this country there were over a hundred million pigeons. Okay, I'm saying context here, by the way. It's a hundred million pigeons in the country. Okay, you write that down. That's important. Yeah. Hundred million. Hundred million. Write the word million. Don't do. Don't do no, zeros. No, 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 yeah. Write the word. Not shorthand. Yeah. No, don't shorthand. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't accept shorthand. Hundred million. Yeah. Hundred million. Yeah, hundred million. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Pigeons. Pigeons. Yeah. Piggy on. Piggy on. Yeah, hundred yeah. hundred million, okay. Yeah. Every year, mm. twenty seven point eight million of them. Hold on. Twenty seven point eight. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. you can do short hand for that. Yeah, yeah. Die mm. unnecessarily, mm. okay. Mm. And do you know what they die of? No. Do you know what they get? Have a guess. Mm -mm. Um, no, no, don't no, stop. Don't, don't guess. Old age. Don't don't guess. No, this. No, that's rude. Yeah. They get they die from impact, unnecessary impact. Hold on. Yeah. Unnecessary. Do you know yeah. to spell necessary? Oh yeah. yeah. That's two C's necessary. Yeah, yeah. Unnecessary impact, right? Yeah. So they die from crashing into lampposts, crashing into walls, crashing into buses, crashing into my window screen. And the point I'm mm. saying is, if you're seeing a pattern here, mm. they're all crashing, right? Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. So what I've proposed to the finance minister is crash helmets for pigeons. Okay? Crash helmets for pigeons. Okay. Yes. Now uh, you, you might have uh, some 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 reaction to that. I imagine you 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 want to spend government funds on crash hats for pigeons, crash helmets for pigeons, crash helmets for pigeons. Yes. Um, do you, do you not think that that's not a, um, a big enough? No, no, do I think it's not a good use of money? Yes. Uh, well, yes, I, I do because uh, twenty-seven million diarrhea. Okay, and if pigeons, we, pigeons, twenty-seven point yeah. six million die every year we're spending um, hundreds of millions on children's charities and and donkey sanctuaries for yeah. example yeah pigeons just completely overlooked no one no one cares about about these pigeons and if if we okay these these okay the, the pigeon, right, 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 listen i know people what people are saying when i put this proposal forward oh wait a minute these pigeon helmets in order to be indestructible because they might get run over by a bus have to be made from the hardest substance on earth which is diamond which so each individual pigeon helmet will cost about half a million each to make. Uh, and then when you calculate that by, you know, 27 million, you know, this is, you know, it's, it's quite a it's quite a bit like, but that's the only substance you can make them out of to, to, to sort of prevent them from, uh, from dying, from dying on impact. I mean, no, I, wasn't I mean, what am I missing? No, no, what no. am I missing? I was, I was going to say, missing are, are they, uh, they're classed as vermin, aren't they? I mean, why, why well, why, maybe why? by, maybe by you there. Because you're no, not a very no. nice person. But no, I mean, no, okay. The general I mean, consensus. Uh, general consensus by who? By the general, the general people. Well, well yeah. I, don't, I don't know who these people are. Personally, I, you know, I think the the, the crash helmet, ideally goggles, because you know they get things going in their eyes, goggles and a scarf. I got the idea from a show called Wacky Racers. That's what I'm saying. I got the the main, not just the the impact of death, but I was also worried about the fact that. That planes might be chasing after these these pigeons, and I, I don't know why. I think it's from a cartoon or something. It's probably from cartoon. But the point is, as for many things, a cartoon, a play, whatever, that inspires an idea. And I, and I saw these planes with with chainsaws and and things. Come to think of it, was it wacky races or something? And and there's, there's hammers and there's missiles and all sorts of things coming after these pigeons. And these pigeons are okay. They're a little bit cocky the way they're looking back and sort of pulling faces at uh, this this man in in a plane with a, with a dog. But I think. We need to prevent that. That needs to be stopped. Because if we've got pigeons being chased by gangs of pilots uh, who are uh, trying to use chainsaws to cut down scarf-wearing, goggle-wearing, helmet-wearing pigeons, what chance do the pigeons without helmets have? Uh, Roadrunners um, are in, in great danger from um, from, coy from coyotes. Um, not coyotes that are funded by um, um, the Acme Corporation. They seem to have limitless bank accounts, um, blowing up the Nevada uh, um, countryside with with explosives and firing um, giant red rockets with, with fuses on the back. Um, so they're in incredible danger. Um, they could also use protection, even though they're very fast. From what I've seen, they they make a meep meep kind of sound and they're very fast. But still, you know, these are other creatures that we need to look at uh, to, to be defended.